watching the sun bake Thinking it looks fake All of the skies outside are covered in cool Smoking a big dew Watching the YouTube Time to go in now But what can he do? Staley's going live again in Centerville Searching for truth Taking some calls Some people claim Something wrong with his brain Cause he knows We don't live on the ball About the moon landing Unity strikes and hate speech on YouTube But he's such a cutie When he shakes his booty he Says Neil deGrasse and Bill Nye take the loot Stavely's live tonight but not in Centralville no one even knows that's now what it's called All of his subs know he's not gay or insane But they know he's got something for Paul Big stones and flip flops Big man and his truth drops Plenty of proof that our memories are good Mandela affected The facts are collected It's a beautiful day now in this neighborhood Stavely Street of Truth tonight in Centerville Karen Dior, call her watch in the chat Still and it's flat The Panama Canal Runs north to south now most people claim it was once east to west It's not magic mirror But we can see clearer Cause everyone here knows that we're the fucking best Stavely's premiering videos tonight in Centerville He might be at work or even in bed But it don't He gets stately instead Everyone He gets stately instead uh, well, Is it heavy stuff, man? <laughs> Will it blow me away? <laughs> put your seatbelt on, man I'll tell you that much I'd like to call to order this secret conclave of America's media empires we are here to come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong. I think we should go with a good old-fashioned public health scare. A new disease. No one's immune. It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. Uh, yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome again back to Dose of Reality. I'm your host, Brian Stavely. I'm here with Jen, the Truth Seeker 69. What's up, Jen? You're muted. Amateur hour. Fuck you. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight, guys? <laughs> Fantastic. So I'll just tell you guys the plan. I'll go through the platforms, give a shout out, and then me and Jen will get rolling. 
Uh, before we start anything, I'm just going to tell you, we are multi-streaming right now to six platforms. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, DLive, Facebook, and Rockfin. We do have some stuff to talk about related to Mandela Effect and other things. Uh, we're going to do that in the beginning of the show. Um, but then I know Jen's waiting to go on some serious rants about the upside down world right now. So we're going to do that on the Rockfin side later. Uh, Jen is also on Rockfin. So in order to access the stream later, it'll be for subscribers only. Only, You can subscribe through me or you can subscribe through Jen or you could subscribe through anybody you want. But her channel link is below in the show notes to this YouTube video and below in the show notes to the Rockfin video. If you're watching on Rockfin now, though, obviously you're already subscribed because it's premium. But if you're watching on YouTube or anywhere else, her channel's linked and my channel with the direct link to the show is uh, is there. But we're going to talk over here for a while on YouTube and I appreciate all you guys here. Hopefully you appreciate the strategies of having to go back and forth to different platforms. And I've been telling you how bad the censorship was getting with YouTube. Jen's mm -hmm. dealt with it probably worse than me. She's dealt with it as bad as anybody. It's fucking ridiculous. So yeah, you finally I've had it. Yeah, completely had it with YouTube. I'm so over it now. And uh, I'm very grateful to be on Rockfin. And thank you so much for um, helping me drive some traffic over my way to my channel. I appreciate that, Brian. I, I, I appreciate you for so many reasons. And as a friend, first of all, but you really helped me take my channel um, when I first met you to the next level with the live stream. And you've always been there to help me out every time I've needed help or questions that I've had. You've never hesitated. And I just want to tell you, thank you so much. And I'm so grateful that you're my friend. Oh, you're welcome. I'm grateful you're my friend too. We're the fucking <laughs> best, dude. You know, we're the best. We are. We're the fucking best. We just can't I help just it. want to jump through the fucking screen and give you a big hug right now. Hey, God only picks the best, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Yeti in the chat says that Puma hoodie is nice. He recognized your new Thank hoodie you. that you were just showing me backstage. Yeah, buddy. I just got it today. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, at, yeah. Uh, Ross, if anybody wants to know, I got it at Ross. Oh. <laughs> it's like 70 bucks. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to give a shout out over on Facebook. Uh, oh, I don't even have the video open, but you know what? There's probably nobody there yet. D Live is says there's two people. I see Salted Cedar and Northeast Native over there. What's up, guys? Uh, to nobody over on Twitch yet. Over on Rockfin, there's 22 people. We got Naikas, Contraption, yes. Mary30, Patrick Locke, uh, and myself. That's all that's typed in the chat so far. And then we'll come over and we'll hit up the YouTube side. So, so far there are 73 people and counting. I'll scroll up to the top. Okay. So we have three fingers. We have DJ. We have Diana. Mojo, Young Love, New Hampshire Guy, Marika, Juan Torres, Lisa Marie Tattersall, Gemini, Voy, Jen, uh, Natalie Renka, Lucky Haskins, Zulu One, uh, Sue Finelli, Anna Rita, Carrie Skates, Everything's a Psyop, indeed. Um... Chocolate and Dude, cheese. Dude, this whole world's a sigh up. <laughs> yeah. Rico's tin foil sombrero. Lunderground. Captain Kirk. James Tiberius. Jason Starr. Salted Cedar. Flat Accord Music. Boston Guy. Green Chili Bear. Uh, Yeti. GKT11. Uh, Waters Above, Yas Child, Derek Lemire, Lynn Michelle, The Nightbot, Jeff Hennig, K Dog. Uh, and that's it so far. Awesome. So, thank you everybody for being here. We're going to do a good portion of the show here on YouTube, but we are going to cut it and head on over to Rockfin when it's time to talk about the current PSYOP. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see that that strategy is actually working pretty good for me right now. These YouTube videos, we've been killing it. They've been getting tons of views, and you know when I had to cut out to go to Rockfin so we could do what we needed to do, these video videos have all been able to remain up. So I think that is the way to go right now. Jen, so yeah. uh, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Well, <laughs> ma'am, not man. I heard you. I'm not a I heard man. you were. I heard you were packing a punch down there. Yeah, not quite. Did, did you tell everybody <laughs> that? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So did you like did the I show last night? What? I was going to almost say, did you tell everybody about the time you investigated yourself? But let's save that for the other show. I almost killed this channel right yeah. now. 
<laughs> Jen, did you get my Charlotte Bank? I'm aware of Bob something. So I'm just reading the chat. The show last night was amazing. Uh, I've, I'm getting ready to listen to it again a little bit later on, but it was so good and so um, interesting to watch everybody come at it from little different angles and put their pieces to the puzzle together because, you know, sometimes we kind of get stuck in the way we look at things and try to perceive it and try to see how other things fit into how we already are seeing it. But really we need to step back and try to see it through somebody else's eyes and their experiences with the Mandela effect. And you really get a lot of answers and a lot more questions too, but all in all, that was an excellent show. And I got to tell you, I do kind of resonate with what Nathan was saying about this feeling like it's some kind of hostage situation. You know, like we're all here against our will in some way. And like we've been taken hostage and kept kept away from our true nature and what we're supposed to be doing and what our, what our real experience should have been here. Yeah, I really enjoy in these shows. And I want to address a comment in the chat before I move on. GKT says uh, something about silly paying for truth. I don't want to have to pay for 50 channels. Nobody's paying. Nobody even pays for two channels on Rockfin, dude. You pay 10 bucks, you get the whole platform. It's not like a Patreon thing. So you sign up for one channel and you get everybody, man. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I am really enjoying these shows a lot lately. Um, you know, really getting deep into the Mandela effect and everything and having roundtables and stuff because that's what we really need to do to progress the conversation. I can't keep letting people fucking hold me back, you know? Like, I've been trying so hard to wake up the rest of the truth movement and all these people, but it's become apparent to me the community is pretty awake. But content creators, they're either not awake or they're scared to lose subs or whatever, and they don't want to talk about it because it's really fucking annoying. Because honestly, we've been doing this for a while now, and I've been going real hard pointing out content creators that are affected for how many years now, and how many of them have actually started making any Mandela content? Yeah. No. It's kind of a joke, right? It is. It's a huge joke, and I can't understand why these, you know, seemingly intelligent people who seem to get a lot of stuff and, and, and comprehend a lot of stuff, can't see this. And like you said, either they're they're just not meant to see it and they never will, or they're gatekeeping in some way. And I'm mm -hmm. starting to lead more towards gatekeeping because there's yeah. a lot of weird shenanigans been going on as of late. All is being revealed. And I think um, when you see people not seeing what they're, they should be seeing, when they're in line with okay how can you miss or swerve around the mandela effect it just doesn't make sense so no. either you're a pretender in truth or you're an actual truther and you want to get to the truth of the matter and truth of the matter is our fucking reality is changing all around us <laughs> there's proof of it everywhere there's something there for everybody to experience for these jack wagons to sit around and say they're not experiencing nothing they're liars they're, they're yeah they're liars <laughs> they're liars they're straight out liars because I, I said this, out of, say you pick like, and I'm not going to get into name and names or anything, but you guys can all put names in your head. Uh, let's say I pick 10 of the biggest content creators you know that deny this, and you know it's been brought to their attention plenty of times, specifically by me pointing out in videos that Mandela effects come out of their mouth, right? I'm going to say that at least 8 out of 10 actually know that it's real. There might only be one or two that legitimately just think there's nothing to it and it's a sigh. I think eight out of ten of them know it's real. I think a few of them might be really, really scared. And, okay, I'll give them a little bit of a pass and eventually they'll have to address it, right? You can give them a little bit of a pass on that end. But there's other people that I know that they're not talking about it because they're afraid they're going to lose subscribers or they're going to they're shake their paradigm too much or get them out of their comfort zone of truth. And I think that's a fucking joke. And they're going to start to all, they're all going to be exposed now because they're all cracking right now. One of them made a big move against me earlier in the week, did a video, and then fucking pulled it after this, said all types of shit about me and my mother, I heard. And then today somebody tried to move too. I'm not even going to get into what they tried and what I noticed, but Mandela and I are uh, trying things right now that are just way out of character for them. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you're watching, you're way the fuck out of your league. And we have truth yeah. on our side. The things that you're doing yep. and the shenanigans you're pulling and the stunts you're pulling, the high times you've been called out on Mandela effects, well, that just shows that you're not in truth. You don't stand in truth. So exactly. it's going to all come to light. Like Jen said, it's going to all come to light. And honestly, it's all coming to light right now. Like within the next few months, everything's fucking coming to light right now. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm, yeah, I, I don't just, know what's going on, but I'm being presented with this stuff on a silver platter lately. Like so many people all of a sudden with the same Bible change. So many people all of a sudden with the, like how many people did the judge not let she be judged in the matter of two weeks? Like it was everybody, dude. That's not a coincidence, yeah. you know? They're meant to be yeah. to, to be put on this. And look what happened. So when I call these people out, like, for instance, what was her face? What's the lady there with the big following? Amazing Polly, right? So when I showed her judge not lest she be judged, I was nice about it. I said, go leave thoughtful comments, all this. If you go to her bit shoot channel, the only video I saw where the comments were disabled was that one. After I made, the, af so after I made that video. Yep, there's other people in this would, movement that I've... Yep, go ahead. Why would you disable your comments? You would want to see what these people have to say. You're supposedly open-minded, truth-seeking individual bringing people truth because you're so amazing, right? Yeah. <laughs> and yet you'll disable your comments. You'll know them by their fruits. Yeah, yeah, they're fake. So Amazing Polly's fake. She disabled the comments because I sent people over on the Bible change. There's other people that have been called out on the, some of these Bible changes earlier. And I've gone back now to look for some of those videos for certain reasons because of certain things that have been going on. And those videos are removed and they are individually removed by the user. And I know the reason they're removed. Their other videos are up. I know the reasons they're removed because I caught them saying certain Bible verses the way that they used to be. And they're going to deny the changes now. And now people are trying to build up a defense for a gen because they've been called out on the specific big ones already. So yeah, they're going to say, they're going to say it the new way intentionally because they know what the change is now. But the problem is these people think that like, there's just a, a handful of changes or something like now everybody's watching you guys like a hawk because, Oh yeah, I let people know that there's some suspect motherfuckers. Everybody's watching you like a hawk. And guess what? Well, you're all going to have Mandela effects coming out your mouth because you live in this reality. Why would you want to yeah. deny that this is happening? I listened to uh, Nicholson, 1968, Richie from Boston, and somebody else was just on recently. The three of them, I can't think of the third person, but they said yeah. Cliff's, Cliff's Notes the right way three times. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Nicholson was reciting a Bible verse. I sent you a few text messages about it. So, yeah. I mean... Um, well, they don't deny it. Me, me, I will say that neither one of those two deny the changes. They both know what's happening. Now, this whole Owen Benjamin thing, I don't know exactly what happened there. It's hearsay on my part. I have not vetted this out, but supposedly he was, yes, triggered by the Mandela effect and then flipped back on it and stuff. Um, and then somebody had said something about Richie from Boston doing the same thing kind of with the Mandela effect. I do know that he knows there's four people in the car with JFK and now there's six, but he never really went into any other ones or whatever. So I don't know, but there's definitely well, Richie, a Rich, straight... Rich, I, Richie knows that his Bible's changing. He tried to debunk it in the beginning. He tried to say that the Mandela effect wasn't real. And he went and bought a Bible. He did a video on it. This is like several years ago. And he tried to show people that the that, you know, that it, there wasn't a change, but he didn't show the KJV. I forget which change it was for. And then he was called out yeah. on it. And he did admit that he was wrong about it. And he told, he told me that story when I was on his show to talk about the Mandela effect. Now, has he gone 180 back on it? Who, who the fuck knows? I don't watch his videos, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure know. at this point what's up with that or anything. But I do. I catch people all the time because I know so many Mandela effects. I mean, how could you not if you're a researcher? Um, it's your whole world. It's all around you. I don't... It's just... It, you just walk through a fucking supermarket and start... Oh, and I have another picture for you. It's still Haas on the um i just bought some avocados and i i just took a picture for you brian of the uh scanner on the walmart thing i forgot to send it to you it's right here i'm going to send it to you now so it's still till this day comes up h-a-a-s and we can share this but we don't have any evidence there's nothing going on yeah, yeah. so it's always there it's right in front of your face all the time it, you know what i mean so um, and this is residue. And so people have to ask, well, why the hell is there residue? And what, what does that even mean? It's just, thank God that there is, thank literally God that there is residue. And I think he's leaving residue around so we can show people, you know, it, 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 it valid, uh, validates what we're saying about the Mandela effect when you show residue. And it's mostly memories of, you know, this residue, like the person who put this into the thing, into this uh, system left yeah. it this way yeah and what store was this again walmart checkout walmart. in my so self walmart. checkout line yeah walmart still hasn't changed we guys told you guys about walmart we told you guys about Kroger's with the uh 
with the Haas avocados residue. And uh, yeah, Walmart has not changed in the, in the computer. So Jen just went and got more Haas avocados that never existed. And we're just retired. Yep, this and Walmart's falling for my PSYOP. Walmart's falling for my PSYOP. Martin Luther King, Abraham Lincoln. They're fucking all falling for my PSYOP, dude. It's amazing. It's, it's so far reaching. It's fucking people, man. So ridiculous. Well, their symbols, their symbols change on their jackets at Walmart. Their star thing, right? It used to have like a dot in the center or something. I forget. And I remember like two years ago talking to the ladies there because I was kind of friendly with some of the ladies that work there because I shop there frequently. So I, they get used to know, seeing me there. And I said, when did you, when did y'all change this logo thing? And they're like, oh, I don't know, but it's been that way a little while now. And I'm like, so you don't know, like, you don't know when they came in and turned, changed all the signs and gave y'all new vests and changed all the carts out and, and, the, sh and the signs and the, <laughs> she's like, yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. It just, it was just like that one day. And I'm just like, like, they, of course they're trying to make excuses for it, but it's just literally, it was like. They just had no idea. I tried to explain to them what the Mandela effect was. They they stood there for a minute and gave me the uh huh uh huh oh uh huh and then that was it. They just went on their way. I doubt they even looked into anything. But, yeah, you said you you said you awakened somebody up to it today though, right? Yeah, yeah. I stopped to see a friend of mine and uh, I told her we need to hang out and and talk because I could really blow her mind. And she's like, "Well, what do you mean?" And um, she had mentioned something about judge not. Uh, lest you be judged and I was explaining to her that it's changed in the Bible and she's of course her first immediate thought goes to oh it must be a reprint or a translation right mm -hmm. and I explained to her about you remember to judge not lest you be judged because you have it written in your heart and you don't have to pull the Bible out to read that verse to know what it says. It's like your favorite song. You sing in it. You know it. You don't got to look at the lyrics every time. I said, but the paper that it's written on and the book binding is made by man. And that appears to be changing, like literally in your possession, mm -hmm. your great grandmother's Bible from, you know, 16, whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's going to say wolf dwells with the lamb. And she's just like looking at me like, how is this possible? Like, what are you, what are you impl implying here with this statement that you're saying to me? And I'm like, our reality is not what they told us. It's literally in flux right now, you might say. Things are shifting and changing all around us. Maybe it's our perception because at the same time, we have this interesting thing happening where for somebody else, it's still wolf in the Bible, and maybe they just read it the other day, and it still said wolf for them. Excuse me, lion for lying. them. But today, yeah. we it, it may say wolf. So, um, also there, it, it's it's consciousness thing. You know what I mean? It's it has to do with our consciousness and what level, I guess, of consciousness and awareness that we're coming to. Um, I think Nathan had it spot on. And uh, the other gentleman, I forget his name, again with a J. Jaco uh, Jacobian. You need to, if you're not following yeah. Jacobian, you'd really like his videos. And he's got really good. Yeah, I got to get on videos. that stuff. But yeah. there's a hyper awareness taking place. And Brian, I think you are one of the most hyper aware people right now walking the face of the plane. I mean, I'm sure there's probably other people out there that are as hyper aware as us and they just don't have a voice or they're not on any channel or they, we just never hear from these people because they're not on any platform, but they're out there. But Brian, mm -hmm. I think you're like next level hyper aware. And that's, that's exactly what's happening here is that we can see all this taking place because we're so aware. We've gone down that road of truth. Our calling to that path of truth is from the creator. He's led us there. He's led us, set us upon this path and we accepted the challenge and the journey and we're walking that narrow path. And, um, and with that comes a heightened awareness of our senses and everything around us and the lies. And, and you know, once you peel back so many lies, you start to realize that all of this is one big lie where we're at, the whole thing. And I think they had it right, uh, a few of the things that they were saying that, you know, once we get out of here, none of that matters. None of this matters. And then when I was on mushrooms, I remember the only thing I could say, and I just kept saying it over and over again, was none of this matters. And I kept laughing mm -hmm. at myself at how serious we all take this world. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like, I can't believe we take this place so fucking seriously because none of this matters. And that was really one thing that I took away from my mushroom experience, which was 
very psychedelic and profound. I have to say it was um, quite a ride. <laughs> I didn't see God when I was there, but I did meet myself, whatever that means. And I couldn't wait to meet myself, apparently. And myself said goodbye to me when I left, too. I remember that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway. <sighs> yeah. Well, I mean, for me, I mean, the reality, the reality shifts that we see, the Mandela effect. It can- now, for somebody like myself, I mean, I pretty much know that all the stuff that's within this matrix is fake and artificial. Everything they present us, I mean, I've known that for a while. Um, that's why, like, the, the the globe being a lie didn't really hit me as hot as it hit a lot of other people. It's like, okay, yeah, I get it. I mean, the moon landing was fake. I've known that for a while. 9-11, you know? So it wasn't really... But the thing is, though, the Mandela effect does something different, though, because it proves the supernatural. So we're literally out here proving the supernatural every day for years on our channels and people are acting like we are fools and it's really it's really crazy the blinders that people have on to this it's very Mm -hmm. disturbing and i'm telling you right now people people are acting fucking crazy all around me i see it everywhere and i don't i'm not just Mm -hmm. talking about everybody with the drama that you guys all see i see other stuff that's going on I hear other stuff that's going on behind the scenes. I see the way the deniers are acting. I can see them plotting against me right now and others. I can see it. I'm not stupid. But let it be known. It's all gonna they're all gonna be exposed. They're all gonna just expose themselves with the stupid moves that they make. We're doing nothing but showing truth here. You can't debunk the fucking Mandela effect. Look on my screen right here. So this is this is uh one of my psyop trinkets I get. You wanna see my trinkets and whatnot, Jen? I mean uh, yeah. This this ornament here is of a lion and lamb. It's being bid at at almost seventeen hundred dollars. It sold for almost seventeen hundred dollars. This sold for just a couple weeks ago. Well, it should be a wolf, right? Why would somebody pay seventeen hundred dollars for it? Let's see what it says down here. Uh, example of the artist's work clearly inspired by the biblical peaceful kingdom imagery from the Book of Isaiah. The lion and lamb figures. Boom. Boom, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but nothing's going on. Let's check out a couple articles that Tommy sent me before the show as well. Real quick. I'm not going to read through them. I'm just going to skim to the part we need to get to. So, Lancaster Farming, All God's Creatures, blessings the Blessing the Animals. And when we scroll down to... Oh, what's this? The lion will lay with the lamb. No, it won't. It's the wolf. You must be falling for me and Jen Sire. The wolf I mean, doesn't I... lay with the lamb. The wolf dwells with the lamb. There's a key exactly. thing there. You know, it's a definite message. Like, hey, you better wake up because the wolf is dwelling with you. It's in your house. They're everywhere. Yeah, dude. And the wolf's highly suspect. You don't think that that's a problem that now it's not the lion and now it's the fucking wolf? I mean, what the fuck, man? The wolf, the wolf wants to huff and puff and blow your fucking house down. <laughs> Wow. And hold on. There's a part in here I actually wanted to read right here. So the prophet Isaiah also spoke about animals in heaven. From 11.6 to 65.25, we find heaven is a place where the lion will lay down with the lamb and the wolf and the lamb will graze together. The lion will lay down with the lamb. There is no wolf dwelling with the lamb. Over here, I want to address this too. This is the thing, Brian. The wolf was never in there for me at all. Anywhere in that equation. No, there's no wolf. And then it's like they just kind of skid them in there somewhere in the background. When you find residue like that, he's in there somewhere. I, I wanted to know. bring this up while I see it because I see King Solomon here. There's another Mandela effect to do with that. It's not directly to do with the Bible, but people would always make the correlations between World Trade Center uh, 7, which was called the Solomon Brothers Building, and you know King Solomon, the two towers, and all of this. Well... Now it's not the Solomon Brothers building, and it doesn't match this anymore because now it's the Salomon. So all those correlations we made, are you going to tell me that those anchor memories, those correlations, and even the radio shows we did talking about those connections back in the day, me and Justin Cook, are just a mismemory? No, I don't think so. Go fuck yourself if that's what you're going to say. These Mandela deniers, really. I mean, look at all this residue. Let's keep going. Lion and the Lamb while we're here, while we're talking about Bible changes. I got this before the show, too. Tommy sent me this one. Okay, let's yeah, see. Yeah, Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood didn't make out too well with the big bad wolf. <laughs> no. Saying. Let's see. Where is Lion? Where is it in this verse? Oh, 
Oh, here it is, right here. He will rule over the reign of nations. It will be a glorious time on the earth. The Bible says that the lion will lay down with the lamb. Can anybody show me a Bible that says the lion will lay down with the lamb, please? I will give you $1,000 right now. Nobody can do it. Got a little, I got a little, so, a little song of Miss Memory. You want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. It might be a language problem. Maybe this guy just doesn't know how to say wolf. Let's have a listen. <laughs> you say your friends hurt you by telling lies. And that you will hate him till the day that you die Oh brethren, please listen, don't stand to be damned Remember the lion will lie down with the lamb <laughs> yeah, Don't baby. think yourself better I, He must mean the wolf, He must. it must be a slip of the tongue, you know, slip of the tongue Yeah, that must they, be what wo it is <laughs> wo wolf, wolf and lion sound really similar coming out Let's Let's make sure he didn't say wolf Oh, brethren, please listen, don't stand to be damned. Remember the lion will lie down with the lamb. Yeah, baby, don't we do remember. That's the thing, we do remember. And these motherfuckers aren't going to tell us that we're out of our mind. We, you look all around the world, there's stained glass images all over buildings of fucking lions and lambs and statues and everything. So why are these people not allowed to talk about it, right? Because clearly, if they're working for the other side and they act like they're on the side of truth, but clearly they won't go near the Mandela effect. They'll disable comments. Yeah. They'll put out hit videos about you saying you're a fucking nut job, right? Yeah. Um, and, and just, you know, we're all just confabulating all over ourselves. And these will be well-known people that we, you know, maybe respect to a certain level on all their other truths that they've brought out. Clearly, they're yep. being instructed to not go near this or it's even you know, like discredit. It. It's not and, the same like um, And that tells you right there, I mean, uh, that along with a, lot, a whole laundry list of stuff that this is a spiritual battle. And clearly, the, um, the losing side Big L, Lucifer side, right, <laughs> is working mm -hmm. overtime, double time, to discredit, cover up, insert, and deny the Mandela effect with all its minions and all its yeah. AI bots and everything else like that. And, 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 you know, that alone should wake people up, too, as well, because, you know, we have gatekeepers in the Flat Earth community that gatekeep Flat Earth to a certain extent, um, or, or other different truths, you know, 9-11, everybody thinks, you know, well, it was some kind of directed energy weapon or it was this, and they won't get away from that at all. That's their only truth and don't move from that and won't look at other things and stuff. This you is, know does that not that's, help. You know that, that that what you just said right there is what actually brought me back out of retirement? It's so many people, <laughs> and so many people are starting to fall back for fucking Judy Wood's bullshit. And her directed energy mm -hmm. weapon, so I had to get back on the air and fucking blast that out real quick. And then I just started doing all sorts of flat Earth and Mandela effect stuff as well, you know. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I had it all built up for a while. I've been sitting on it for a couple of years. But yeah, how could people not yeah. connect these fucking dots? I don't know. I'm losing patience. And uh, like I said, we're gonna keep putting out the fucking you know re shows really moving the conversation forward like we do. But you know, it's yeah. it's hard. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask people again. I know you guys you guys that are listening. You know, we need to wake these people up. So I need you guys to start bombing comment sections and start asking all these other channels why they're not talking about the Mandela effect. Don't cuss them out. Don't call them names. Okay. Leave good comments. But, you know, you want to know why. You want to know why these people won't connect these dots. I mean, this is the biggest thing that's ever fucking happened. You know, How could you be on a journey of truth and things that supernaturally change it? And all these people fucking know it. They know this changes that affect them. How, how many years? Can you just brush it aside? Did you guys find the trick yet, by the way? The ones that say this is some sort of trick? Because I'm waiting. Show me the fucking trick, okay? You can't do it because you're full of shit. And you're you full of proved, shit. You proved last night with that show that the more people you have looking at this situation, the more it helps us get through it.
because a lot of us don't know how to verbalize this. Um, we have different ideas of what might be causing it, but then again, our ideas will shift. If, like Brian, there was a few times I had a few ideas about the Mandela effect, and you're like, but if, if, if it was like that, you wouldn't have this, this, and this happening. And I didn't see that before. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. So it couldn't have been this that maybe I was thinking was doing the Mandela effect. And, and mm -hmm. the more people that we have looking at this, it, it just helps uh, brainstorm it, uh, maybe figure it out possibly if we're even meant to figure it out fully. I think it's more of a wake up call, like a, hey guys, your reality's not what they've been telling you. You know, they've been lying to you. And just, just that alone, seeing the shift happen, that's what it's telling me. We've been lied to about where we live, what we're on and the true nature of this reality. And if they're gonna lie about all this, they're gonna lie about us and who yeah. and what we really are and why all this shit revolves around us. So yeah, I think more people that come into this and, and, and even people who have a very high um, audience, uh, large audience of people um, would help, you know, you know, you get new eyes on the situation. Maybe they would come yeah. up with new ideas, new conversation That's what I'm saying. about it. But That's what the they, fuck they, I've been trying to do. That's there. why, yeah, they don't want to go there. So what the fuck, what, what kind of truth is that? You won't go there. They, it's happening and it's affecting you. You're going through it and you, in your own research is changing on every topic. And I keep pointing that out mm -hmm. to people. No big deal, though. Yeah. Drives they got to take a heart crazy. themselves up and ask themselves why that they're denying this and what does it actually mean to them? Because the Mandela effect affects each and every one of us together, collectively, and yeah. separately. One of and and this ain't about no fucking monopoly man and Berenstein and that's what they'll always come with. Well, why does it? Why does this thing matter and this thing matter? And they don't ever talk about any of the big stuff we address. They won't talk about Black Tom. They won't talk about all the German stuff. They won't talk about the anatomy stuff. They won't talk about the geography. They won't I, talk about none of it. You're, it's fucking crazy, man. It's absolutely my fucking crazy. My out for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Sorry. I saw that. No, it's all right. It's just crazy. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I, I mean, this is the most fascinating yes. thing. And we've been looking at this for like six, seven years now, some of us. And for them to say that this isn't happening... I mean, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm going to keep pointing out all these people. We're going to step it up. I hope you guys send me more and more residue clips from everybody's videos. Don't miss a fucking thing. We're going to pin every fucking denier to the wall. I don't give it's a fuck. It's quite insulting for somebody to sit there and tell you that it, after all the research and proof that you can provide that, that yeah. it's not really happening. Yeah. Clearly, they're not doing work or they're instructed to tell you yeah. that it's they're not either, really they're either They're either fucking idiots or they're getting paid to fucking keep it in house. Right? I mean, that's how I feel about it. There would be no reason for me to not, you know, tackle this thing head on like I have everything else that comes down the pike for me. Or, or the path of truth that I, I'm coming up on another truth here and, and I'm going to embrace it and caress it and love it and tear it all apart and then put it back together again and then present it to everybody. And then I'm going to move on to the next truth that's presented because this is how you level up in your consciousness and your awareness. And and, and this is the thing is people get stuck in their um, awareness. They're comfortable there. They don't need to be any more aware than what they're already aware of. Oh, that's your truth. You keep your truth in your lane over there. And I'm going to stay over here with my comfortable truth. This comfortable, uh, inconvenient lie that I call the truth over here. You know, it's ridiculous. I, and out of all the things we've ever looked at to deny this, I mean, this is the supernatural, presenting the supernatural realm. And it literally... There's so much fucking yeah. proof of it. There's so much proof of it. And we lay it out thick on people. I mean, come on. All right, a little more residue for you. Larry David, Herbie. Did you Jesus. believe this? Hi. With Irma. Hi, Hi. Irma. How are How you? Are you? You're Good. in a book nice club? Yes. Oh, is that so surprising? What do you, you think what we you, don't read? What are you reading? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. You what are two you are reading Faulkner? Yes, we are. Oh, what? Is oh, that, oh you're you the got? only intellectual what in what the you bunch? Got? The Cliff Notes, huh? What are you doing? What? What are you reading? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. You what two are, you are reading Faulkner? Yes, we are. Oh, what? Is oh, that, oh what you're the got? only intellectual what in the you bunch? Got the Cliff Notes, huh? And, I, and I've got a lot of Mandela deniers with this one, too, by the way. And and this goes for a lot. Of, you know you know who else denies the Mandela effect? Nearly everybody that I, I research, like, deep into the event in September with and all those people that know about the fakery events and all that. Where are all those people? None of those people. The so-called you know, fakery okay, crowd, so auto hoax crowd. None of them address it. 
And I could see how people, some people would be like, oh, well, that's not really a Mandela effect. This really is. But there's oh, there's so many of them. And there, I feel that the reason there is so many of them is because it is for everybody to see across the board. Uh, you know, hey, JFK 4, was it for me? OK, it may not be for somebody else. It could just be this cliff note thing or, or the Berenstein Bears is what that's all they need to know that the reality has changed. And, um, well, what can change it retroactively like that in your possession kind of stuff? This is definitely yeah. supernatural. Yeah. Not yeah. And, 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 yep. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, all of you that, you know, when, when you guys got called out on Lion and the Lamb and now there's several people that now tried to say they got it, the lion laying with the lamb from other places in the Bible. Oh, you guys know that you're lying though, but you guys know that you're full of shit. How's it feel to know that you're a fucking liar? to deny the supernatural. You're fucking lying to people to deny the supernatural. Other channels out there know this is happening. They won't address it, but they'll deny the supernatural. Check out this residue. Cuba Joel Sin. You with who? Cuba Joel Sin. He's with him. He's with the guy himself. Cuba Joel Sin. Hey man, you know you're a piece of shit, right? You know, right? Right, come on, yeah, you know. You know, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Joel Osteen, another Mandela effect that I pointed out. Everybody in the fucking truth movement's affected by. It. Here's another person that denies. There's the Mandela people effect. that actually really so believe. Listen. You know, you know, specifically, uh, you know, preachers, pastors at churches, that they they really believe they live on a globe and they're unknowingly just going along with the lie. Um, obviously, the televangelists at that high level, they they have to know. They have to you know, like like Joel Osteen, of course, with the spin. To know. They have to you know, like like Joel Olstein, of course, with the Who? You know. They have to you know, like like Joel. Olst Let's go next. I want to thank you all for coming. A little residue. This is from uh, Flatter Day Saints. He made a music video. We're not going to listen to the whole video, but at the end of it, he calls it. It's something to do with Rodney King and Rob Skiba. I don't. It's like. Rodney Skiba or something, but just have a listen. I S S yo. What part of a little boy do you like best? Yo. We tap the chrome and we went. We scrap the rest. Yo. This is the Rodney Skiba song. Can't we all just get a lock hung? Yo. This is the Rodney Skiba song. Can't we all just get a lock hung? Yo. And the I S S yo. What part of a little boy do you like best? Yo, we tap the chrome and we went, we, we scrap the rest. Yo, this is the Rodney Skiba song. Can't we all just get along? Can't we all just get along? Another Mandela effect that I've gotten everybody in the so-called truth community with. So-called truth community, that's what I'm going to call it. Because it's a fucking joke at this point. All everybody does, okay, is, so all everybody does is deny the Mandela effect and fight with each other. Why don't you fucking people get some new fucking content and start addressing the supernatural reality shifts instead of being stuck you in the fucking physical is. paradigm. God. People have gone from one fucking physical paradigm to another. It's a fucking joke, man. It's a joke. I think God, all, all is being revealed. God's calling these people out like Osteen, Olstein. Okay, why would his name change? If he wasn't a shifty fucking character, uh, his name wouldn't shift, right? Okay, or, or like... Um... <sighs> All these other people, like Sally Fields, Sally Fields and all this stuff, they're all suckers of Satan's cock. And when they see their names change, they know that it is the most high, proving that they are nothing but fucking lying jack wagons, right? So they have to sit around and deny it and act like that was their name the whole fucking time. Um, you know, sex in the city, sex and the city. Uh, how does that play into it? What does the Mandela effect mean when, they, when it changes like this? I think it's an inner mix of outing people and things and situations for being fake, fraudulent, and, and just completely false, like the JFK thing. That's completely false. It's all fake. It was a big sigh up. That's why it shifted from head to fucking toe, everything in between. Um, Hollywood, one big fucking joke and suckers of Satan's cock. So everything in Hollywood and it comes out of Hollywood, those type of productions and stuff are going to have shifts all through them. And, um, and then, and then, um, Oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Just let's continue on with your picture here. Yeah, so this is, uh, we showed this last night, but I know maybe not everybody did. Not, this was from Nathan. This is like a book sequel from the author of Sex in the City. And they're calling it, Is There Still Sex in the City? 
but the name of the show now is Sex and of the City. Why would the sequel be Sex in the City? It's fucking ridiculous. People that would deny yeah. this. This and was at the. Uh, he say that this person, this is another person who disabled their comments or something because she didn't want to hear all the stuff of in the comment yeah. section. So I'm saying, writer. let's bomb every fucking channel, every channel that doesn't want to talk about this. Bomb their fucking comments. Let's expose them. Let them delete and disable comments, and then we'll really know who's out for truth. If people are going to exactly. deny the supernatural and do anything they can to deny it, they should be fucking exposed. All of them. Fuck them. They're standing in the way of truth in the most profound fucking extreme times we've ever been in. And who knows how much fucking time is left. Fuck these people. And you're Fuck right. all of them. And there if any of you people. fucking deniers want to come at me, I'll fucking roll over you. You'll get fucking embarrassed, dude. You'll get embarrassed and exposed as frauds. Don't fucking test me. Do not test me. You better fucking stop speaking truth or else everybody in all the communities are going to fucking expose you. Yeah. Fuck this There are shit. people that listen to these to these people, let's just use the word religiously, right? Maybe mm -hmm. uh, follow the things that they say and take it uh, like, well, I wonder what he thinks about this or I wonder what she thinks about that. But then they never bring up this particular topic and they maybe even had a personal Mandela effect or seen something that's affected them um, throughout their daily course of their daily lives and stuff. And, and maybe they could get some sort of relief or um, answers or at least know they're not alone if that person that they listen to all the time on that particular channel on their shows uh, start talking about this and help them through it a little or even just help us figure out what's going on. But you know what? The more that they don't participate and the more that they don't um, acknowledge this, the more we are figuring it out and figuring it yeah. out who all They're not on our side. People. They're not on our side yeah. then. And, we, and how long have I... Yeah. You watch. I could easily go out and bury these people, all of them, and embarrass them. Embarrass them for being the frauds that they are for not addressing this and really hammer mm -hmm. them in the videos. I never do. I handle them with fucking kid gloves. But you know what? I've been handling them with kid gloves for fucking years. I'm sick of handling them with kid gloves. Now it's going to be time to fucking turn up the heat again. Fuck this shit, dude. Fuck this nonsense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, anybody that's denying this at this point is not on our fucking side. And it doesn't have to be your favorite topic. You don't want you to change all your content. But to not address this and to do things like laugh and snicker and act like we're retards, you guys are so many fucking ears behind it's a joke. It's uh, a yeah. fucking yeah, joke, like, dude. Seven behind yeah Eight years behind yeah yeah it's a joke Crazy. dude wow it's fucking amazing i can't even fucking believe these fucking nerve of these people well, really mostly okay. most likely what's gonna happen is one of their names are gonna change or something <laughs> yeah so fucking sick of it dude okay you, i showed this last night but people didn't see it this was outside the gracious pig where i went in and talked about the current side up to everybody i played that video Right there on this uh, shell replica pump, you have the dollar sign with two lines through it. Over here, we have some Union Jack residue. I'm just going to fly through where it's symmetrical. In this reality, the Union Jack, like the U.S. flag, is Mandela affected. The U.S. flag now has the white stripe under the blue instead of the blood stripe, which probably signifies that we lost to Germany. Because if you watch the shows me and Jen have done on that, Germany's been burying us for a fucking hundred years with the Mandela effect now. Dude, Germany is running this show right now over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care who gets mad. Anybody that watches this later, oh, Brian's fired. Are you one of the deniers? Then fuck you. How's that? Fuck you. Why are you denying this? This is happening. Not only is this happening, it's happening to you. And I've single-handedly proven each and every one of you was affected multiple fucking times. Some of you guys have even fucking removed the videos and that you said Mandela effects and, and think I don't know. I fucking know it all. We're fucking watching yeah, you motherfuckers. That's shady like, oh. fucking shit. That's shady shit right there. Why the fuck would you do that? Why would you pull There's your some shit people down? That, because, yep. Because your yep. shit's weak. <laughs> yep. Yep, there's some people that have been called out in, in, in Bible Mandela effects. They've pulled their videos down. I've gone back and looked. I keep extensive show notes, motherfuckers, with old links going back years. I know where to look for stuff. I know how to see if people are being honest. You're not fooling yeah, anybody. Fuck with Brian. Brian is a next level researcher, okay? He's using like all of his brain right now. God has got his shit turned on high. <laughs> all right, this was uh, while I was away at uh, Myrtle Beach and Rebecca's chicken caesar wrap caesar the way i remember c-a-c-e-a-s-a-r but in this reality the e and the a have swapped and it looks like cesar now completely yeah. ridiculous well what's up with okay. caribbean Car caribbean looks weird caribbean caribbean i don't know it just looks a little weird to me for some reason yeah i'm not sure 
Okay, what is this over here? Oh, here we go. A Volkswagen model, model, no brake in the emblem. Oh, nice. One of my bigger Mandela effects. Somebody and here posted, perfect. God bless Chick-fil-A. He's in front of a Chick-fil-A, wrote God bless Chick-fil-A, and he spelled it the old way with just the C. And again, if we're all misremembering, why would we drop the K off the word and spell a word the way that's not correctly spelled? Why would that be the mistake? It would be the other way around, you idiots. Yeah. <clears throat> Remembering Pearl Harbor with the red stripe under the blue. Well, that's pretty disrespectful to all the soldiers since it's a white stripe under the blue. You can't even get the fucking flag right on Remembrance Day. <laughs> Which is today. Lots of red stripe under the blue residue going around today because it's Pearl Harbor Day. I could show you 200 images of flag residue right now. Many that I took with myself in the frame. Okay, this was from your live stream, Jen. I missed it. I was out of the room, but I got it sent to me. Dollar yes. sign residue? Yep. What is that from? Yeah. That uh, Economist magazine, Steve had it up. He was showing, uh, you know, all the stuff on the cover of their magazine, and boom, baby, there it is. Right. Now, we talked about what, what's been showing up in this reality a lot was the Lambda, right? It's in the Kia. It's in the Samsung. It's in lots of places in place of the A. And then, of course, the Lambda variant, which we won't talk about right now. But it's creeping back into old movies now. If you look at The Mummy. Now, Marika sent me these shots. And she's seen this movie many times. And she's Greek. So she would have noticed this before. But now it looks like the Lamptas are all up in the subtitles of the movie. Oh, wow. Where there used to be A's. And we've seen other yeah. things creep back into these movies, like chemtrails and everything. So, like, this is oh, nothing yeah. new to us. But again, again, nothing's happening. We can't, we can't, we can't talk about that. Let's just, you know. <laughs> Another screenshot. More lamptas. Mhm. Mm more people that don't know what a wolf looks like. <laughs> 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 We're all just a bunch of fucking fools, right? You know, all those yeah. poor people out there that got the lion and the lamb tattoo. <laughs> what are they thinking right now? <laughs> yeah, those poor people. All right, let me get us back on the screen. That's all I had to share. Let me get us back up on the screen. Uh, where the fuck is our video feed? I hate when I come out of a screen share and it does that. It's like a little glitch. You have to like reset it. There we are. Cool. You know, it's like saying, yeah, yeah, the air's flat, but your reality is still the same. Nothing's changed. <laughs> well, yeah, then are you any better off? If, if you're just stuck in the physical, yeah. are you any better off? Not really. I mean, yeah, you know that they lied to you about a lot of shit, but I mean, really. And so many people are stuck in this physical. They just don't get it that this is a spiritual battle. And we are so much more than these bodies that were, you know inhabiting right now <laughs> and uh you know we shouldn't fear death and, and if we were living the way we're supposed to be living we would never fear death we wouldn't treat each other the way we treat each other we wouldn't treat this place that we're in the way we it, we've just been cultured like a like in a petri dish this seems to be like what this place is a big petri dish and they're just cultivating us to be what they want us to be I've really been playing nice, like really, if a Mandela channel, like, if, I mean, if a channel with any type of big fallen that's a Mandela denier wants to come at me, I'll literally just expose them and call them a liar, just like how I really feel. And I'll show everybody on video how affected they are. And I'll say, look, at they're just lying to you, telling you that nothing's going on, yet they have the same memory as all of us, so they can't say that our memory just sucks and we're idiots. Something's going on, and all these channels are lying to you, and they're hiding it, and they don't want to advance truth to that level. And again, I'll be the first one to tell you, there's much more truth. There's always more truth, you know? But to deny that this is happening yeah. is the problem, you know? 
That's a fucking yeah. huge problem for me. What's the point I, in talking about that we're the center of the universe and we're special and God created us if then one God or whatever the supernatural thing that made this realm is is showing showing itself to us and then we just ignore it? Then you're just blowing a bunch of fucking hot air up everybody's ass talking about how you're on a spiritual journey. No, you're not. You're just fucking breaking down hoaxes and that's it. And that's as far as you'll go. Exactly. This is a spiritual journey we're on and we're all starting to see that, you know, this physical reality is not what we were taught and it's changing. And if people can't see that happening in front of them, I don't think they have any any uh, business being in this apocalypse because this is what it is. It's it's part of the apocalypse, the Mandela effect. We didn't know what it, what things were going to look like when this all started. And this is um, a part of our awakening. And to try to stunt that for somebody is it's not cool to, to do that you know um there's a lot of things that are shifting and changing all around us we just figured out not too long ago that we're not on this spinning ball hurtling through space oh and wait everything in space is fake too including space <laughs> mm -hmm. so you know and we're we're like shattering paradigms left and right and then you get to the physical paradigm and having to admit that physical things in our reality are actually changing, well, then that means we're changing as well. Our consciousness is shifting. It's shifting up. We're getting a higher perspective, looking down at all the bullshit, and we're able to see all the lies now. And the Mandela effect is a huge part of that. I think it should be called the apocalypse effect because I think it's an effect of the apocalypse happening. And we're being uh, shown all, the, all these lies and where the lies lie. Yeah, absolutely. And somebody in the chat asked, they said that their husband swore John Madden died in this reality years ago. Does anyone else have this? And actually, Steve JMO hit me up the other day and he's like, yo, John Madden's alive? I swore he was dead. And I thought he was dead too. Not big enough that I'm going to like make a video about it and say that that's definitely, you know, it, like Louis Anderson for me was definitely dead. Louis Anderson for me definitely was dead. And he died like oh, 20 yeah. years ago. Oh, and now yeah, Louis Anderson's died. got his new show and he's all set, dude. It's fucking really crazy. Really well, crazy. Well, it says yeah. in the end in the end times that the the dead will rise and walk among you. Well, they're they're we're dead and now they're walking among us, guys. Hello. <laughs> crazy. So there's that. <laughs> so let me give a shout out. I got a couple tips on Rockfin. Let me shout them out, Jen. So give me a second. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna scroll up. I uh, okay. We got a ten dollar tip from Rachel. She says, Brian's background is giving me a Pokemon seizure. <laughs> Thank you for the <laughs> tip, Rachel. And then we have Patrick Locke with the $50 tip. Thank you so much, Patrick. You're very generous. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. You guys on Rockfin have been awesome. And we will be moving the show over to there soon. Um, Zulu says, "One well, Louis Anderson died. What the fuck? Yeah, Louis Anderson's alive. A lot of people remember Louis Anderson dying. That's a big one, too. And those are the ones that, are, you know, those are the hardest to prove. Are the, you know, the, the celebrities dying and coming back ones. Um, and that's why I think the whole Mandela name was a psyop to begin with. You know, the whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing. They I don't even know. purpose. Yeah, just the whole thing. Because even it, first off, you name it Mandela Effect. It's a polarizing guy. So people are already turned off right away, even though it has nothing to do with the guy. Right? And then the other thing, too, is, you know, I don't really have a strong memory either way on, on that. And I know I don't see really think I don't really see any. And, and it's funny. People have tried to come at me like I, I need to do something to address Nelson Mandela. And, but I never even talk about Nelson Mandela dying in jail. I've never even done a video on Nelson Mandela dying in jail. And that could just be all part of the fucking PSYOP. And the problem is <clears throat> they just tie all of that together. And everybody gets, gets turned off right away. Fiona Broom, Nelson Mandela, Mandela Effect. And it's so much more than that. It's so much more than that. Well, Nobody if, here if talks about Nelson Mandela. Yeah, if God is your enemy and you knew that this apocalypse was coming up and you knew what it was going to look like, then you would already be prepared to battle against your enemy and what's happening. And remember, God is their enemy, right? Like, so Jesus kills the man of lawlessness with the breath of his mouth. So they knew this and they knew it was coming up. And what did they do? They have everybody cover their breath of their mouth and invert it, right? So um, even with the Fiona Broom thing, okay, so they put her out to get ahead of it and try to hijack it and, and create that schism that that narrative yep. schism that they could that division right it's in um, every that, article that, 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 her, 
every article reads the same. Oh, the Fiona Broom and Nelson Mandela dying in jail. And she started the name where in 2009. Where's this bitch been nowhere. this whole time? Every Mandela is show out there that we've done ever since it's even happened. She's nowhere to be fucking seen. She's riding her broom somewhere around Satan's fucking cock. What's going on here is that it's the apocalypse effect. And, and these are definitely signs and messages from the creator that is being rebutted against by the other side with its AI and, and, and um, propaganda machine and, and trying to lull people back to sleep. Don't look over there. It's not really happening. Come back over here and look over, look at this, you know, even if it's a scare tactic, like the latest, you know, big bad boogeyman and stuff. Yeah. So let's take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll start. You want to start to head over so we can talk about other stuff. Yeah, it sounds so good. So, guys, I'm going to play music. After the break, we're going to switch over to Rockfin. Okay, I'm going to come drop the link in the chats for everybody. All right? This is the direct link to the Rockfin show. I'll now pin it at the top of the YouTube chat, and I will drop it over in the other chats. Just give me a second. Let me see. This, did it work here? Yep. I just have to get a couple things open, and I'll get a song up for you guys. We're going to head on over to Rockfin. It is a premium stream on Rockfin. I would appreciate if you want to subscribe through me. You could also subscribe through Jen. Her channel is linked below in the YouTube video as well. It doesn't matter who you subscribe to. You unlock the entire platform. So you don't subscribe to multiple channels. It's $10 for the platform. All right, I'm going to play a quick song, and then we will be right back. And where is the song I wanted to play? I'll just play this. This is your dose of reality. Yeah, look, someone whip out the cake, cause it's time to celebrate. We gon' stay up late, cause it's Brian's birthday. Yeah, the boy deserve that respect. Put in the song to the Mandela effect Cause we know Timmy never fell into a well Them blue pill people all live in fairy tales Most of the sheep think it's mythological But Monopoly man never had a monocle Only the real ones think outside the zone And remember, it's E.T. home phone The topics that make the simple teens blood boil Like the first terrorist attack on U.S. soil Most don't know about Sparking that bomb at 207 It was all good Like it's a beautiful day In this neighborhood Then 208 The East Coast got rocked Send a shockwave Stop the journal square clock But it's all good To those that ain't woke They just the yellow stuck in the egg yolk Some need glasses for the eyes to see A clear vision And a dose of reality in fact, he get it done If you build it, he will come Spot a hoax and set it free Spread the word for you and me Cause the red pill is the key To fill a dose of reality Did you know your reality is being put to the test? The Panama Canal no longer runs east and west. Things you are sure happen never did in this reality. The crunchy cereal with the captain now has an apostrophe. Some are changed for many folks. Shit, that punctuation now just showed up on different strokes. This shit can't be attributed to only digital content. Take a look at South America. They move the whole fucking continent. Even pop in your copy of Star Wars, it could be 30 years old. Shit when is C-3PO, not all fucking gold. Maybe you haven't noticed the changes yet. Open your eyes, trust your senses, and you realize the Mandela effect. 
I'm from the reality where the youngest Jackson was a girl. Volkswagen logo had no line and Ford had no curl. The Black Tom attack we didn't learn of in school. It was always who will save your soul sung by Jewel. The music ones really stand out to me. It's no longer I want to paint it black in this reality. People writing it off is bad memory. Even with Superman, Chris Reeves. Running your trap, dismissing it is one of my pet peeves. Everything I research, people say it's a psyop. Even simple things like pointing out the towers can't collapse from the top. Somehow we are experiencing merging timelines. For more research, check out my site, The Real News Online. started noticing changes in like 2014. It was JFK, the six-seater, that seemed so obscene. Many people will try and call me a loon. But hold up, wait, they even changed the spelling of Looney Tunes? Let these thoughts sink deep into ya. How could you ever miss the Great Wall of India? The Statue of Liberty Statue was, of on, Liberty Ellis was on Ellis Island. Go we'll search there for it now, for it and, now. You and you won't it. find it's it. It's time for you to wake up. Hello, All right, Paris. everyone. In this reality, the monopoly Welcome back. Dose of reality. I'm here with the Truth Seeker 69. What we're gonna do now is start to head on over to Rockfin. So, Jen, do you have Rockfin open? Do you think you could give the lovely people at Rockfin a shout out while I close down the other shit? I actually don't have Rockfin okay. open. <laughs> All right, no problem. Sorry. No problem. All right, well, just talk for a minute while I do this because I gotta concentrate for a minute. All right, so, um,. Let's see. I think uh, Flat Earth and the Mandela Effect or the Apocalypse Effect is um, a result of one another. I think you can't really have one without the other. I think um, the apocalypse is happening and Flat Earth, they knew was going to come back out. They knew they couldn't hide it. They knew this whole thing was going to happen. Okay. I don't know how they know this stuff. They summon, they do their rituals, they get information. They're like, hey, look, man, we're going to have trouble on the horizon. These people are going to start waking up and we need to get them back over here sucking Satan's cock. So they're all doing what they're supposed to do and trying to steer the narrative. This is why when Flat Earth came out and you had all these, you know, uh, Obama, we don't have time for the meeting of the Flat Earth society all this stuff they knew it was coming out and they couldn't stop it so they want to send yeah. in their fucking minions and try to steer the narrative and they did the same thing with the mandela effect look at all the hit pieces they did these fucking movies and shows and stuff let's get into some of this hollywood bullshit and how they're uh, trying to not just um these channels that aren't going to address it but hollywood steering the nation's perception of what's taking place into you know this uh hole of hell over him you know just it's ridiculous it is and then guys anybody that gets to the youtube video late and the live chat's not available if you just look in the show description again there's a direct link to the uh to the rockfin stream right there we are going to kill the youtube now thanks again guys and we'll be back tomorrow night tomorrow night my awakening episode number 69 dan wiley then i'll be back for a multi-stream with karen on her channels on thursday for unveiling this realm I'm going to put together probably a Rockfin slash Patreon stream for Saturday and then Monday night, another multi stream, but it won't be a round table because I'm going to do my awakening number 70 with Life Matrix, who's actually one of the first Mandela Effect, one of the oldest Mandela Effect content creators. So it'll be a really good interview. And then pretty much after that, I'm taking a break because I'm going to Florida in less than three weeks. So I'm going to bang out all this and then I'm going to start to wind it down and uh, head on out of here. But thank you, everybody. I'm going to kill all streams, but Rockfin right now. R 